So I recently set out to replace uh, two actually APC batteries for my battery backups. One was a RBC-17 and one was an RBC-7, which I'll get to later because that's a much bigger battery. But anyway, um, while looking through Amazon, I saw a bunch of reviews and uh, many people said, well, if you look behind the uh, label of an APC uh, battery, it's not actually, even though it's labeled genuine RBC, it's not actually, um, you know, there's, there's a generic maker of it behind the label, blah, blah, blah. And sure enough, I peeled back the label and, um, you know, they were, they were right. This is an alternate company. Um, it's made by CSB. Um, and I thought, well, geez, they're just really just putting a label on and repackaging it and, and calling it their own. It turns out there are a few, um, you know, little modifications that they make, and it is a slightly different battery. But my question was, will it work? Can I replace it? Is it the same? I mean, look, if it's the same manufacturer, what's the difference here? And um, obviously, they're both labeled GP1272 F2, um, 12 volt, 28 watts. Um, <clears throat> I did some more digging around before calling, but you know, I was trying. I learned that CSB makes some of them were labeled Vietnam, some were labeled China, in terms of where they were made. Um, as it turns out, they have three different factories where they make these batteries. And um, in the end, um, there are a couple of slight differences. Their differences between the batteries are bigger uh, on the larger batteries, but just you'll notice here, for example, um, APC will uh, purchase the batteries and then they put a little cap on here. And um, turns out this is to prevent like arcing and stuff like that. When I called APC to find out if these are the exact same batteries, I couldn't really get a straight answer. Obviously they don't want to. There's a big price difference. Um, this battery is $23.99. Um, this battery is um, pretty much almost double the price. Well, actually not quite double, it's maybe $36. Um, and just looking at them, you can see that there are, like, it's not exactly the same. If you just look at the width, now this could be because this is an older battery. I don't know. This is about um, almost eight years old. This is supposedly brand new. They could just be manufacturing them slightly different. But um, so in addition to APC adding this, this ends up being a 12, uh, a 7.2 amp battery. The original is 7.1 amps. And I called both companies. CSB told me that they don't actually um, sell 7.2 amps to APC or you can't even get a 7.1 amp anywhere else. I said, well, will 7.2 amps work in my battery backup APC original? He said, it absolutely will. You'll get just slightly more runtime, maybe a minute or two. It's not a very big difference. Um, so the short of it is, yes, you can replace your APC um, original battery with the generic CSB Direct. Um, it's not identical, so you know it's not that APC is fooling anybody in playing games. They technically are different batteries, but the guts of them are um, pretty much the same, except for like as I said, one is 7.1, one is 7.2 amps, but the voltage is the same and the wattage is um, is the same. I think I happen to get lucky that um, the one they sent me was made in Vietnam, so they're almost identical from that respect. Now, when it comes to the RBC seven battery, it's a much larger battery. Um, and it is a little bit uh, different. I'll bring it out here. Um, let me move these out of the way. Push this back a bit. So first of all, you can see it's the original APC. I chose to go with the original APC. Why? Well, at the time I hadn't done the research. I, I wasn't able to get in touch with both companies to verify that it would work. And at the end of the day, it is slightly different. If you start to use non-APC or RBC batteries, the genuine RBC, your warranty will be um, obviously um, invalid with APC. And APC happens to have a great um, customer service, great warranty policy. They're very helpful. Um, they've been helpful in the past. And with my SMT unit, the unit alone is about five or six hundred dollars. And so at the time, I didn't want to start messing around with that because if I use the wrong battery and it overheats or it gets stuck in there, that could be a whole issue. But anyway, the short of it is, um, these are you know slightly larger batteries, um, but it is made up of two batteries. So what some people do, they claim that they can pair these together, but you will need if you try to do this the generic way, you're going to need a wiring harness. And um, there's another piece, which I have from my old one. Um, you need this piece that goes on one side and then a wiring harness on the other. So um, maybe some of the generics will come with this wiring harness. Um, I think I did see that somewhere, but 
at the end of the day, I did pay up, but um, I wasn't willing to screw around um, <laughs> with, um, and this basically pops off. Oh, and as far as um, going back to these, supposedly you can just put that, can take this off and, and take it off. The, I, as I mentioned before, I think I did, the, um, the gentleman at uh, CSB who was quite helpful, he did tell me that you could that you should, um, if the original manufacturer had one of these on, then you should leave it on as well, or make sure you have it on there. So if you decide to go generic, make sure you try to take this off. This should come off. I haven't tried it yet, supposedly, and um, should be able to use some double stick tape or, or glue, but we'll see what happens. I took a shot because, um, you know, the, the, the battery that this, the backup that this is going into isn't as expensive, and if I mess it up, I do. But um, if I have any issues, I'm gonna follow up and, uh, I'll make a follow-up video and tell you how it works, but my, my gut tells me that this should work for, um, you know, just as many years as the original, and um, yeah, should be all good. So the short of it is, uh, you can replace the <laughs> APC uh, with a generic, the CSB, which is kind of under here. It's a slightly different battery, so no APC isn't messing around with you, but you, the downside is you won't have the APC guarantee. It'll void your warranty with the um, with, with your battery backup units. So it's a decision everybody has to make for themselves. But um, I went through the effort of calling um, both companies, and um, I just wanted to share that info with you. So I hope this helps. If it has, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, please subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.